Hey guys, today's sponsor is Rocket Money, an app I use all the time. In fact, you can see here, here are my upcoming subscriptions. Already this app has saved me hundreds of dollars a month, a year even. Yeah. This is this is one of the apps that has been most helpful for me to help me manage my money. Why else do we use Rocket Money? I mean, I get Netflix is going up in price all the all the time and my Amazon subscriptions coming up. It just like helps you stay organized. It's so great. Mm -hmm. Actually, Joe was using it for a really long time and kept telling us to, to get on. To use it. I, was I like little, to save. Right. I'm a little scared to use it, but I, ever since then, I have not regretted it. It has been so awesome. It puts everything right in one spot. It even notifies me when subscriptions go up in price, and I'm like, uh-uh, and then I cancel <laughs> that right away. I feel so empowered by it, and here's the greatest part, guys. It's free, okay? It's free, and you could go right now to rocketmoney.com slash angry joe show try it out see if it's for you they have premium features to give you even more control even yeah. more savings there's no reason not to try rocket money That's check nice. it out i hope you guys enjoy the video hey guys welcome to our review of episode five of the boys and this here farm old mcdonald he had quite a few animals. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> I real I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was uh, a fun, funny little uh, little break. Some some good jokes in here. Some farm animal carnage. Uh, the boys also, you know, they try to do some creative things, some creative kills, and 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 things like that. And uh, this is a little bit of that. And this is pretty much the onboarding episode of a plot line that we were wondering when, when would this happen? The Gen V spinoff was dealing with this virus that can kill uh, soups. And here is the episode where it plugs into the boys. So while you don't have to watch Gen V, uh, because it is mostly explained in here. Yeah. If you're watching the boys, it does feel like it comes a little out of left field. And you're like, wait, That's okay, so you. now everything mm -hmm. is, you know, getting on this train track now. And we're just going down the, the rails. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what this episode essentially is. So, um, well, not my favorite episode. This is the boys. And it's still, you know, a really good show. Some great moments in here. Uh, but it gets that plot line. I actually uh, did not expect the return of uh, Edgar. Uh, and we got the return of Edgar here as they travel to a farm to uh, acquire the virus. And Butcher really wants to get his hands on this virus because it's essentially how to kill Homelander. any superhero that gets out of line. And Homelander, I think they said a line like we have to put more of the virus into him or yeah, something or it may not yet. it may not be 100 percent good enough for homelander you have to combine it with something else i don't know what what that's all about i don't see why i guess just because he's super powerful um and it'll give us something more epic in the finale right rather than just being injected that would kind of suck that would be pretty sweet if it's like the ending of blade where you had all those by or Ah, yeah, those, uh, you remember tubes. that, huh? <laughs> blade. <laughs> Speaking of Blade, Joe, they you don't know. they don't know how to make a you know. Marvel doesn't know how to make a Blade film. There's all these news stories about the directors just falling yeah. off. I mean, that's what has half this episode is them poking fun at Disney's yes. giant clusterfuck of oh, 19, yes. phases that, 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 19 phases. Perfect tie-in. Yeah, 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 so. We have Expo 53 or what? Yeah. Vault Expo V53. Um, the Comic Con, it's which hilarious. I'm going to. It's they have fun. phases three through nineteen, uh, phases three through nine, and I looked at all the different little uh, fucking logos. Yes. It was like God's soldier from Firecracker, our Lord, our Lord, Savior. <laughs> Lord and yeah. Savior, a lot of Tech Knight stuff, A Train sequels, noir films, just you know, fun, fun little bits here and there, um, and I thought it was a fantastic yeah, woke. parody. What is it? Woke. Get, get yoked. Get, yoked. get woke. Get, get yoked. yoked. <laughs> <laughs> and then b black at it or black. Yeah, black at it. Black. Black on it. Black at it. Black at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the audience is like, ah, fucking I'm, loving it, except for it. one 
the it, streaming. You know, the, even the, the black audience is clapping. But then there was one thing that upset them. I'm like, really? That's going to upset them? After everything that they say, you know, that's the thing that upsets them. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's supposed to tie into A-Train and Sage being black and, and the – Kind of whole vaught thing of veiled racism and and prejudice and, and yeah, taking more stereotypes. Yeah. How much is that going to bother them? Are they eventually going to be like fuck all these people, you know, and and take action against them? So even some of the audience who was wearing like Homelander is like when the cognac joke is made against them, they're just like, you know, it's like. Maybe they're not on board for that. So I'm curious, is that going to uh, be heightened as, as we go along here? Or was that just a kind of a, a joke and then they kind of showed the uh, aftermath of their joke? But yeah, so X-52, farm animals who have been uh, jacked up with fucking V. We get chickens, chest bursting through people. Hilarious, laying eggs in their fucking flesh and holes in the body. And uh, we were about to see a Vita bull, uh, but got surprised by flying sheep, flying sheep, psychotic sheep. I thought it was uh, fantastic. I was worried that the bunny was going to turn into the bunny from um, Monty Python and oh. the Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> so that explains. Run away. <laughs> run away, run away. But uh, no, it was mainly used as a, as a, a, a kind of... Uh, foreshadowing what could happen with butcher and uh carl been such a great actor you can see he doesn't say anything in this scene but you just read his face of all the emotions when he realizes that these tentacles burst from this bunny after this bunny was using temporary v and they make a point to show that the bunny uh was injected with temp v uh, that eventually it turns into this kind of sentient tentacle uh virus looking creature yeah and he makes a realization that's what's in me and eventually it's going to do that to me uh and he you know gets upset with it and crushes it just love the performances put in always uh the other big uh kind of plot point here is subplot is homelander's son uh, Homelander starts a new approach after we said Homelander is un he's going to be completely untethered and he just doesn't give a fuck anymore. He doesn't want to play any roles. And he tells his son, look, there's no more rules for us. And uh, but he cleverly approaches getting his son on his side by saying, what do you want to do? And when his son says, I want to save people, no, old so Homelander would be like this. No, this fucking bullshit and blah, blah, blah. But. He encourages it, but it's manipulation. It's the kind of helping that's harming and, you know, using these uh, humans as play toys. Yeah. Um, and that that's that's going to come to head because if we lose Homelander's son, ha, ha, uh, that's real bad. Because then you have two Homelanders and it's like, how do you even how do you even deal with that? So uh, overall, good episode. Um and I, I liked it. What did you guys think of episode five? The same. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, one, one other thing. We get kind of a wrap up of Huey's with his yeah. father. This is big. <laughs> uh, um, it was big, and, but and it was then, a waste. <laughs> and then we also get a little bit of wrap up. I'm not sure if it's wrapped up, but the advancement of Frenchie. Hated it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these, again, I think uh, are, are some of the weaker parts. But I'll let y'all go. Yes, this was uh, one of the weaker, weakest episodes of this series so far. Uh, there were some good yeah. enjoyable moments, but I didn't like the whole storyline with Huey. That could have mm. been cut out. I think uh, Joe, uh, the, or, or uh, like Joe, that the Joe? character. Which like, one is uh, Joe? It's uh, Negan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he summarized the boys perfectly. It's like, oh, you're working with the druggie, this guy, and this guy's mm -hmm. a fucking wussy. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's what the boys right now is. Yeah. I fucking hate when the boys are, like, already in this episode. I didn't like them. They were annoying. They are just complaining. Annoying. Starlight is mad at Butcher. Yeah. Butcher, yeah. And, mm -hmm. like, Frenchie. Frenchie like, I, he was a great character. Frenchie things. Everybody ignoring uh, Kimiko. Yeah. Kimiko. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that, but. It's whatever. Like, I like Frenchie in this episode. They just kind of made him, like, he's still worried about Colin and what he does at the end. I guess we're going to do spoilers. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, I already pretty much yeah, spoiled okay, yeah. everything. He turns himself in to the cops. He's like, I'm a murderer. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah. I it's know. like, you're not helping the team. Like, you need to fucking help the team. This you're just so going to turn yourself he's, in. I guess you're he's found go to jail religion, now. and he's, fa- he's, fa- he's guilty, and <laughs> he feels so much guilt that he's like, I just want to stop it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, does, doesn't it. he have? Don't they all have full pardons for all of the previous stuff? Listen, wasn't that like yeah, a, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a previous yeah, thing? They so. are on the boys' covert ops. I just, yeah, yeah, and so the prosecutor's gonna be like, "Well, you've already been pardoned for all these things, so what the fuck are you right, doing here?" But that, this is more again. in his vulnerability. He wants uh, it's uh, stupid to be punished, but it's stupid. I don't like it. I didn't like the Huey thing. Yeah, yeah, I did like. The I like the Huey thing a little more, I mm. think, than than, than you, because it does give it somewhat some purpose. But we'll. see. See, it didn't go in the direction I thought it was because I don't know if you know this, but his mom works for Vought. I didn't know that. So I thought that was going to factor yeah, into it more, but it doesn't seem like they're headed that direction. Yeah, that and um, I did like the the farm scene. It reminded me of a movie, a shitty movie, Black, Black, Sheep. Black Sheep. Black Sheep. <laughs> I've not seen Black Sheep. Oh, it's, it's like from New Zealand. It's like they I've do seen, experiments. I've uh, Tommy Boy uh, and, uh, and Black Sheep. They do experiments oh, one, yeah. on the sheep and the sheep start attacking and going crazy. Yeah. Did so you like, drive hey, a truck off that. a cliff? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> so, I like the sheep here. This is the first time I've seen anything like that. That's a good part. The Comic Con was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But other than that, this is kind of weaker. Yeah, de- definitely not as good as the last episode no, that we just no, saw. No. So, uh, mm-hmm. Alex? Uh, yeah, I, I, if Huey's dad is truly gone and we have closed the chapter on that, yeah. I am of the opinion that we've wasted our entire fucking time and I'm mad about it. Oh. Like, he needs to come back as oh. a Like, they need to do something else because it's like mm-hmm. we have already established, we've built up Huey. This is season four. This would have been great yeah. season one or season two stuff when we're yeah. establishing who the character is. We're again. We're at the. We're co- towards the end. We know there's only one more season left. We've got a season and a half. This is not. It doesn't feel like it's appropriately spent time, and it feels like Amazon's like, "Hey, I need you to give me another season. Stretch yeah. it out." And I don't. I don't know if it earns its place. And that's the whole problem I've had with Frenchie's thing, where it was stretched out too long. And so I was hoping that they were going to tie in Huey's dad to. They were going to learn a piece of information. So maybe mm-hmm. we'll get that in the next episode, maybe. where they're like, "Hey, this is what V does in this period." Like, and so it'll tie back in. V will fuck you up. If Something. you don't normally take V, and I think he gave him real V, right? Yeah, he he got okay. real V. Yeah, so I think that we we can't be done with that, in my opinion, because yeah. if if so, then I like I said, I will be upset about it because it it doesn't feel like it's earned its place in this yeah. this season. You've convinced me. Yeah, yeah and so like I they didn't touch they did great. Outside. I mean, it was super touching. I love the fact like they got there's so much emotion in that scene. So I'm not trying to downplay I, any I of that. I like the performance, but but sure. I just don't feel it ties into the story at yes. this point in it's time. It's got to have payoff. It has. To. It, it has to. Um, and so, the again, the side stuff I don't think is is building up. And this was a fun episode. I don't think this was a super important episode, exactly. but this was more a fun episode. I love seeing the gory stuff. They got really creative, um, mostly CG stuff versus like practical effects. But I still I still enjoyed that part. So overall, I think it's a pretty solid episode. But I am still super worried that almost all of season four is going to feel kind of like a waste of time, like I would like a bridge to to the final season. Mm-hmm. So. That's where I'm at right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think um, hmm, where could – I think we both agree that Frenchy thing is going nowhere. And I don't give a shit about it. Okay, that one we can both agree. And I like how we've come to a consensus now that the subplots with Frenchy uh, – They're making Kimiko me dislike the character. And uh, Huey he was one of my are faves. the weaker aspects to it. But I do think that uh, – I, I do it – hmm. It has to have more relevance – uh, the, that giving a person v, v who wasn't born and you know brain dead like brain the, dead state yeah right would result in something and I'm really hoping that it does pay off otherwise it's just more character development for Huey and I'm need. just I'm not I don't think we need it and then does the fact that his mother worked for Vaught turn result in anything that's where i'm thinking oh we can get some good mining out of this particular subplot so we'll see but yeah um okay let's go ahead and give uh oh at the very end uh butcher does a clever play so while butcher is shown to be uh a piece of shit with a heart uh even lets the mr fluffy fluffy bunny go uh, from captivity and uh, M-, M gives a speech to everybody when everybody's arguing and fighting because there's these uh, superpowered sheep flying outside. Uh, he hatches a clever plan to, while the chaos 
of everybody running around, uh, you know, trying to escape from these sheep, he kidnaps the Dr. Shaw, who can potentially remake the virus, chops his fucking leg off to give the appearance that he's been eaten by uh, these sheep, and kidnaps him and Which I gives him buy, to Negan's that was character. a clean cut. It looked like a clean right. cut. Maybe yeah. he beat it, it a little it bit. Now, it now didn't Vicky, look like it was chewed up. <laughs> Vicky probably didn't buy it either because yeah. while she doesn't give a fuck about her father figure being in jail, this time she prevents him from going back to jail, pops the dude's heads that's escorting him back, and shows up. Why? We don't know. Maybe she needs him to help her in the yeah. future. Uh, maybe she doesn't buy that he's dead. I don't know. But I agree. Clean cut. You got to be stupid. Uh, come on. He should have been like you, gnawing I, I, on I, I, or something. <laughs> exactly. How dedicated are you to get your son back? <laughs> I don't know if he had time because I counted when he was off screen. And I, this time, because I watched it twice, I, I watched Butcher go off. And it's, it's, it's cleverly done. But even when it's cleverly done, I was like, that, that, no, no, there's not enough time to do all that. Heck Anyways, uh, so let's go with final verdicts here. Make this a shorter one. Six. It's still a good episode. Uh, there's, it's an enjoyable watch, but overall. And this is on man. the boy scale, okay? So a boy six is much better than, say, an Acolyte six oh, or God. a fucking Star Card six, yeah, you Halo can't get, six. You can't get too wrapped up in the individual scores, especially for TV people, shows. People do I with know. our scores, so yeah. I just want to qualify it that um, – and also, we've said this many times that we go back and you know with greater context in future episodes, mm -hmm. uh, you know scores can go up or down. Yeah, uh, six for me is an enjoyable watch, but I don't like what they're doing with the boys. Currently, uh, Currently we, the, with, with one the of the weaker episodes yes, for you, if yes. not the weakest in from this the series. First two? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Like right now, we don't know. There, there, there just has to be payoff. Like I'm giving them such the benefit of the doubt that I'm like, there has to be something with Huey's dad. Maybe Frenchie's uh, story goes somewhere interesting. It just doesn't feel like it right now. So mm -hmm. I'm also at a six. I think this is an above average television show. You can have a lot of fun with it because I think that there's a lot of really cool uh, chicken bursting through a chest is super yeah. fun. Yeah. Like, and it's like yeah. sh flying sheep ripping uh, people in the park. It was really cool to see. So there is yeah. a lot of fun to be had here. I just I'm waiting for them to kind of get get to the point and now we're beyond the halfway point in the end of the series we should be wrapping up figuring out like what the ultimate goal for this season is and right now without the pay the, the payoffs for any of these other things mm -hmm. it feels like we're wasting our fucking time like that that we should have just skipped from season three to season five and yeah. so what i'm hearing from from you guys is a failing in this particular episode because this episode is supposed to be perhaps one of the most impactful things happen the boys realize that a virus exists to kill soups and now butcher's like i found it i found the thing that we need right but the execution of the episode bad. we still don't feel like that we all we feel like we're spinning wheels instead of we've obtained the MacGuffin, and now we are headed towards the conclusion so it was not a great execution for it and i think that has to come that be that happens because you did that storyline in Gen V, right? well, and, and, see, and season three. Because if you if you had brought that the virus, if no, you the gas, it, mm -hmm, the gas. So it's a separate uh, attack. Maybe they'll combine them. I don't fucking know. No, but that's what I mean. We've but, already done this in season three. Like they did the they all of season three was about that crazy gas that they were keeping Soldier Boy out under, mm -hmm. and so we already did this magic MacGuffin that's going to work on Homelander. So like the reveal that there's another one, it's like. So because yeah. this was uh, expanded on and kind of fleshed out in Gen V, uh, boys, the boys watchers don't really get that context. So it doesn't have that impact when that finally plugs into the boys storyline. Because I guarantee you the virus is now the focal point of the rest of what we're about to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, being um, probably the fuel and the spark that lights the fire of this Oncoming war, because another thing we've kind of forgot to mention is, well, Homelander is teaching his son to be a piece of shit in a new way, which his son is falling for. Uh, he also openly tells the rest of the heroes, we are no longer celebrities. We are wrathful gods. This is a war, and we're going to do violent shit. And everybody's on board. And Ashley gets, uh, gets dumped in this episode by Sean Hannity. And she uh, gets back at them. A train kind of wraps her up in his conspiracy, uh, his betrayal conspiracy, and <laughs> demands that he helps her. 
uh, to do his cover up, and she throws Sean Hannity to the wolves and implicates him as the leak. And so the superheroes start with beating the fuck out of Sean Hannity um, and killing him. I thought they were going to use her powers and stuff like that, like firecrackers, you know. Do, do the firecracking? Yeah, I don't think, I think it's just a yeah. joke power. All her power is is super strength and being a total bitch. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> we'll get into the nitty-gritty here, the details, because there's some stuff. There's some sa- uh, is, you there's all some weaker yeah. elements I'm about to. Oh, okay. uh, Sage and Firecracker are fighting. It's like, what? Just last episode, they were like, hey, I thought you was a bitch. You know, and so that didn't last long. And it's like you're setting up. So it feels like we're just going to a Set plot point. We're yeah. setting this plot yeah, really point to get to a plot point. So, okay, I'm I'm also going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay. And this is on the boys scale. Um, I did like it. But I do think that for all the reasons that the boys here laid out, it wasn't as impactful as it could have been, but still a very entertaining episode and one that I appreciated with farm animals, uh, Watch new Black direction Sheep if you for Homelander, seen it. New Zealand one, and all that good stuff. So six out of ten all around. <laughs> and let's jump into the spoiler section. So the spoiler sections we start with, uh, you know, Huey's dad wakes up. He seems fine. He's actually very attentive, but this starts to degrade pretty quickly. He forgets mm-hmm. that the mother left the room. It's a good mom. And at some point, he just leaves the room and rips some guy's heart out. So he's got he's got some anger issues, and um, he's about to attack the mom at one point. But Huey saves her, and he gets these powers. And I really like these powers. It's like because he actually says a line like "You you looked right through me," and I'm curious. It's fascinating. Is this how powers manifest? Something deep in your psyche links the power that you get with, you know, some of your trauma or something. It's like, it's like, it's like, and so he's able to phase through things as if you're looking right through. And he phases through a guy and sitting on a hospital bed. Flirting uh, with the nurse. I'm a nice guy. Let's go well, out. Let's go out. <laughs> <laughs> so another gory creative Terrible. scene <laughs> from the boys. You know. uh, but eventually they have to put him down and he uses stuff he learned from Frenchie. To give him a, what do you call it? Uh, in lethal injection, mm-hmm. essentially, to put him to sleep. Really good performances here from the actors because this was sad. Uh, Sounds it's tough. All amazing. And he's like, I'm but... scared. <laughs> and it's like, don't worry, Dad, I'm here. It's like, oh, man. He's also telling, he almost kills the mother, but Huey jumps in his way and says, You're my hero, Dad, you know, from a story that, that back in the day. It's, it's touching stuff, but we also would like for it to have a purpose in the greater story here. Yes. Uh, and instead of it just being Huey character development. Uh, which is fine, but less interesting at this point in the story. Okay, um, what else? Then we so, get to the Comic Con, mm-hmm. the, uh, the Seven Expo, whatever. They start announcing the phases, night phase nineteen, all these different movies, and the Deep and the the host kind of have a little uh, <laughs> uh, banter together. He's like, I'm gonna yeah, they don't like each other. He's like, well, what, why? It's like, what's wrong? Why Why do you hate me? He's like, because you told everyone this. He's like, I gotta Mm -hmm. sometimes throw some punches at you guys to be fair and balanced. Yeah, I was like, "Mm, okay. Um, But yeah, he knows that he still has the octopus and he's gonna expose him. So this gives Deep a reason to just hate this guy, which is perfect for later because uh, he's like, yep, that's the leaker. Fuck him. Let's kill him. Yeah. Uh, But before we get to the expo, we have a lot of uh, little bitty, little bits. MM's daughter. Uh, oh. Gets in trouble. They yell at it. Mm, and, ta- and then we have the talk with Negan. It's like, okay, let we got to get this virus. Got to figure this thing out. Um, and so this Negan alliance, we're going to maybe pass the virus to Negan's group or use it. Yeah, because the boys are falling so, apart. Mm-hmm. Frenchie puts the drugs down, picks up a rosary. Uh, how'd you take out Ezekiel? Uh, MM asks Butcher. He says, I don't know bollocks that let's focus on the other thing no no let's not bollocks that because the tentacles are about to bop, pop out of out. your head at, <laughs> at some point uh they need to figure this out and how to cut it out of him or just get it out of him uh but a surprise here is that um oh sage taunts a train the footage didn't just run out of the tower uh you know and so if you want to take it over here yeah, and so he he really he immediately goes over to Ashley and he's like, "Hey, I you know I need your help, 
you know, we have to figure this thing out. The leak was me. She gets pissed. She's like, you're just, you're, you know, I'm now an accessory. But she has a perfect opportunity because she had just got dumped at the yep. buffet line. <laughs> yeah. um, and yeah, it's funny because he's like, I need a, a dom who's actually a dom. And you're just a fake CEO. And, you, you know, so. She She's tell- looking for vengeance. Yeah. So she <laughs> I mean, she he wanted someone who was in charge, and so she did something very much like a woman in charge and had his ass beat to death. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, power move, definitely, for sure. And uh, so um, the footage, let's see. So they break out Edgar, okay? They give him, what do they, what do they give him? Presidential pardon because mm-hmm. they want the virus. And uh, he's like, ah, fuck off. But they uh, kind of hit his vulnerable spot, his granddaughter. Uh, did you know that Zoe was made a monster by Vicky? What? So he wants to get custody of Zoe. Uh, and so he agrees to show them where the labs are and help them to get this stuff. But uh, it's a real shit show. What happens over there? The crazy farm. They go over there to find out. He, they go into his basement because they see a whole bunch of blood, blood handprints going down. And they turned his uh, farm into a lab. Mm-hmm. And this is where we see the little bunny. And then uh, uh, Butcher is yeah. like, oh, I feel bad for him. He sees it's Temp V and he lets him free. Yeah. And then uh, Victoria shows up. Everyone yeah, so- she shows knows. Because she knows exactly yeah, where he is. Yeah, everyone knows so it's bleeding. I don't know. She's probably got a tracker on him or she, you know, has eyes and ears everywhere. And, oh, for uh, sure. You think that the shit's about to go down, but at this point, it just seems like, you know, they're just rivals and they tolerate each other because, again, she doesn't want to be revealed. Mm-hmm. And so there's this uneasy, somewhat alliance, which I like. We get some bitching from Starlight to Butcher being on the team again. I'm like, I don't know. Is this, you know, this She's whole Starlight your powers, versus by the, Well, not losing. She, she can't use her powers as well anymore. Correct. Yeah. So I don't know where that's going to go. But now Homelander starts to learn how to appropriately get his son to fuck with people. He lets his son do what he wants, makes it feel like the son's making the choices. He enjoys it. But he's it. encouraging the wrong kind of choices, which is, you know. Uh, it's still violence. Like, yeah. Crazy violence. He's watching and drinking his milkshake. And he's enjoying it. it. And this is a problem. Yeah. Because we thought that Ryan was kind of uh, learning uh, not to do this kind of stuff. And. And has, uh, you know, so I don't know. It feels like there's there's some character turns here to get us to where we need to go. So, But because yeah. Ryan's younger and he's a stupid kid, I, it, it doesn't bother me. I'm Violence is it. okay if it's for good is mm-hmm. what he's being taught. There you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. And then uh, chicken bursts through a dude's chest. Surprise. Beat chicken, they fire at it and it's a bulletproof chicken. <laughs> the funny just, part. Yeah, it's good stuff. And he laid Super chickens. Dude, chicken <laughs> attack. And they yeah. don't resolve it. They just said, fuck this. We're out of here. It was wild. It was fun. It was a fun little thing. And then they close up the barn. Mm-hmm. They peace out. Uh, Vicky, though, while they're arguing, reveals that Butcher almost betrayed the team. This already, you know, Starlight's already fed up with him, makes her even more fed up with him. I mean, this seems like as on brand and appropriate to the boys as possible, where Butcher promised her something to get something and then didn't give her what he did. The boys should be like, yeah, that's awesome. That's why I think none of the boys cared except for uh, Starlight. Yeah, (laughs) I don't like what they... He's like, this is my... And plus, I didn't do it! I sent her a picture of my butthole. That's proof! That's funny, right? He's like, that is funny. (laughs) You should have said that. Yeah. Yeah, They'd all been like, all right. Yeah, I don't know what they... I don't think I have any idea what to do with Starlight or with Huey or with Frenchie or with... Kamiko or with MM the because we have voice. and so it's like wait a minute who's fucking they know what show to do with Butcher yeah so Butcher like Butcher's interesting and I, I love Butcher but it's like everyone else has been completely sidelined to side quest bullshit yeah and I'm tired of tired it. of it Sage versus Firecracker tension they just but they just had a scene where they were on the same page but she got her and ass beat though next one. yeah and then yeah. Get, gets her pissed off at her so this feels like a quick turnaround but okay if she got but she. Had to get her ass beat, but she got exactly what she wanted. So is this proof that, that Sage is really just trying to take down the Seven from within? Or is she fully on board with being a piece of shit Seven member? I, I, I can't tell. And then all and she seems to know that A-Train does it, but she's not Same bringing it then. out. She's She can't be for sure. Um, she still knows. But so. then every time they make these jokes at the expense of black people, they, they, they put a scene to make sure that Sage 
a close up on Sage and her reaction and A Train's reaction. It's like, okay, is this going somewhere? I can't tell. Um, anyways, uh, back at the expo, Tech Knight is like, hey, we're due for a reboot. My, uh, uh, it's only been a year since my last film. We're due for a reboot. It's like, yeah, that's that the, makes, that's pretty on saying. par. It's on par. Um, <laughs> yeah, while he's doing that, that's when you know A Train and Ashley kind of team up with each other. So, but uh, then we also get a Gen uh, V cameo for those who've watched it. The younger kids from that. I got an alarm here. I gotta go soon. Okay, so the uh, is the guy character for Gen V supposed to be the most awkward person that's ever walked the earth? Yeah, because that was. I... <laughs> That doesn't make me want to watch it's, Gen it's, it's, these two oh, characters. Oh, you haven't watched it. I was like, no, it's, I maybe that's his character, oh, but I, I was like, it. or he's the worst actor ever, or it's like, that's just who he's supposed to be. Yeah, so they show know. up, they say, we're getting our own movie, we're going to do this and that, and then they're also in the uh, the Seven Council, where it's like, let's be wrathful gods, and they're like, yeah, yeah whatever you need, uh, how will we know when the signal is sent? He's like, you'll oh, you'll know. know, you know, so those yeah, two. Yeah, I didn't know who the fuck that I was. I was hoping Homelander Gen- Gen- would be Gen- like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, who the, yeah cause us boys Boys watchers like who the fuck are y'all? Yeah, they were apparently the lead bad guys going against the other good students. Yeah, uh, in Gen Gen V. I hear it's like CW boys, and I'm not I'm not interested oh. in that. I don't know. Everybody says it's great. So uh, then we got the milk uh, shake scene with Homelander, uh, who forces the creepy director to apologize to the assistant, and the assistant wants to take out her anger on him. Slap him. And Slap Ryan him again. sees yes. that this innocent <laughs> wants to do this, and so he feels justified in, in this, and yep. uh, she's sla- slapping. We get a Frenchie star-like conversation as if he's kind of making a confession null to her, and I'm thinking maybe this can be helpful, but she's like, you need to talk to somebody. He's like, but I am talking to somebody. I'm talking to you. Um but yeah, so See, both of you guys need your help. So we get this psychotic <laughs> flying sheep as as yeah. it, it rips the bull apart, and I was like, and I like this, and as people are running, and you know, I don't know who that chick is running right there. She's an agent. She's so dead, and then she tries to jump up, and then she gets ripped apart. It's good stuff. But when I think about it later, I'm like, all right, so they're hiding from the sheep. Why doesn't Kimiko go out there and fight the sheep? Too many of them. If she get eaten. Yeah, but she, she can regen, regen, but still. But she can regen she inside can their stomach. She can fight and beat up those sheep. She can kick the sheep's ass. Now, we don't know how powerful the sheep are. Yeah. Okay? Are they? Do they have the strength of Homelander? Or do they have the strength of, I don't know, Firecracker? I would and, say and in that case, it's going to take a while to, to rip them to pieces. And she might get ripped to pieces and then regen. But over time, I think that she can take them, is what I'm trying to say. Or at least ask Kimiko if she can. And Kimiko's like, I- I'm not sure. And then when you have that scene, it's like, okay, we need to do something else. Because to use the last vial yeah. of the motherfucking virus, and you know Butcher's like, I don't want to use that last vial. I need that vial, and Vicky needs the vial, and everybody needs the vial. But it's just because these damn sheep. And so yeah. I just needed something a little bit Yeah, that line would have been fine, because I get... If, if that happened to you, you'd be like, go out there. It's like, no, the shit still hurts. I'm well, not going to go out there and well, put myself at risk. It fucking hurts. <laughs> Newman had popped the heads of a couple chickens. It's like, go out there and try to pop that sheep's head. Yeah. And just, like, have her do it. Because she's OP as shit, that too. That would have been, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was hoping, for, but they eventually find the doctor hiding there, who turns out to be the father of Zoe. And now, you know, uh, when Vicky was younger, mm-hmm. uh, they, they had sex and, you know, under... Uh, Edgar, he Edgar doesn't like this guy because he deflowered his daughter. She's and stuff, twenty and but, already deflowered. <laughs> uh, he's clearly said. an important character to Vicky. Uh, so Vicky doesn't want anything to happen to him, and he dies by the end. He doesn't die. They think he dies for, to the sheep, but Butcher captures him, mm-hmm. essentially. So, Clean um, yeah, and then Vicky breaks out her dad from prison. Uh, for some reason, we'll see what she's intending to use Edgar for. Uh, get get getting that family back on the same page. I think maybe Edgar, Vicky, and Zoe will be sort of a faction. Um, and depending on them, they are the linchpin to then revealing the plot or driving the seven to open warfare. I don't know, but it's coming. It's coming in season five. What are we gonna do in season four? Right, the last three episodes. And then we I get the know. final scene. A Frenchie going to the office and be like, excuse me, excuse me. He's like, I'll be with you. I killed people. I murdered multiple. Yep. Then she calls a cop. 
without seeing Kimiko's text cuz she was a uh, she was about she was texting him, "Hey, let's talk and, you know, he he can be um she can be the voice of reason for him and the comforting that he needs, yeah. but he doesn't pick up the phone and instead he turns himself into the police and I'm rolling my eyes. Because of Colin, the, Colin, that was earlier, Colin uh, just Colin disappears. Yeah. He's yeah. like, what happened yeah. to Colin? Frenchie's like, I don't know, maybe he went on vacation or something. Yeah, yeah, he's not being honest with people. The first scene of the next episode needs to be the the prosecutor going like, "You idiot! You've been pardoned for all of your crimes. Here's the copy from the president. Get the fuck out of here and stop wasting everybody's time." Yes, because <laughs> none of this makes any fucking yes. sense. Uh, so get out. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, they're and... sidelining the boys. I don't know what's going on. I don't like it. That's what's sidelining the boys. Everyone but Butcher has been sidelined to a bullshit side that's quest what or with, like, Mandalorian and stuff like that. Yeah. The Witcher. I'm like, don't do this. Right, right. Uh, hopefully, we get back on track here in the next three episodes. How is this going to end? I think the final episode will be great because it's setting up the final season. It is like that final reveal. We're going to go in unless they plan to continue it into season five. Then, then it'll both simultaneously get out of control and then be resolved. No, I think you got to make Make people simmer on that shock. It's like, oh, Homelander has now taken over, and we have yeah, to wait a great. whole year to figure out how you fix that in season five. So we do have hope that it is uh, going to go back up here. Um, how is what is Sage's plan? How is Sage and Firecracker going to be resolved, or are they just now on the team of Homelander when he <laughs> openly commits all of his acts that need to be resolved in the final season? We don't know, but we are still along for the ride because mm -hmm. it's a great show even this relatively down episode was still very entertaining and we want to make that clear that it's still a great show and you need to see this one and uh, let us know what you think in the comments down below and we'll see you back here for episode seven and on the next angry joe show bye guys what the fuck this one turned off yeah just right at the end Okay, we have a camera malfunction, so but uh, we're going to roll with it. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.